What, in your opinion, is the most iconic item in anime? Like, overall. Something that, like... Because I think, for me, iconic means that, like, a person that doesn't watch anime... Yes. ...would see it and, like, oh, is that, like, Naruki? Or something like no. that. And, like, you know, it would pronounce the the worst name ever, but it would... Yep. Like, you're like, oh, I know that, you know? Mm -hmm. And... Weird, weird answer, yes. but I honestly think it would be a Pokeball. Really? A Pokeball? A Pokeball from Pokemon. Pokemon mm. has been around for like 20 something years, and it's been so popular here also, yeah. people don't even know it's an anime. Oh yeah. So, yeah, because like there's lots of kids just yeah. running and buying the game and stuff. Like, I know that, like, parents are like, oh, is that a Pokemon? Mm -hmm. Or a Pokemon? Or a Pokeman? Po yeah, yeah, I, I agree with you 100%. My other one would probably be, uh, like, the headband. The headband? Yeah. Like, not a lot of people would know that, but I feel like if, if it had to be second place, it would definitely be a headband. Because the problem with headbands is, like, there's so many designs and everything. Yeah. It's not that... Like, yes, it's important in Naruto, but it's not that important in Naruto, you know? Like, let's say, for example, if we take One Piece and we take Luffy's hat. Yeah. Like, that has a huge significance. Like, Luffy's hat, he gives it to people, like, emotional impact. Mm. The headband, like, it was emotional when, like, Naruto gave it to Sasuke or something. That's but, a really big emotional yeah, but, part. Yeah, but that never happened in Shippuden. What do you mean? Like, and Shippuden headbands were like, eh, you see what I mean? And Naruto, when it first ended, like, the first, the, the final battle against Sasuke and Naruto. Yes, yeah. that was emotional. Uh -huh. But from Shippuden, well... Give me a moment when he gives an headband and it's a huge meaning. When Iruka gives Naruto his head for the end back, after he finally unleashed the Kuruma, and he was able to control it, he gave him back the headband, and then inside of it was the piece of paper that said, like, I know that you're probably going to escape, but I have, like, real faith in you. Go get him, Naruto. And then he ate that piece of paper, and he was like, yo, it's a part of me. That shit was a big fucking emotional thing. Yeah, theme. but it's only one. All I'm saying, it's, it's, not, mean, yes. it's not... No, but it's really forgettable. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's not really, like... When you think Naruto, I don't think of the headband, you know? I 100%. If you could see, like, a scratched-off headband, it depicts Naruto. Like, 100%. And they had, like, the big thing where uh, they were all, like, different villages and all the time. But mm -hmm. when it came to war, they created a new headband, which is a really big part of it, to say that they're all symbolized in mm -hmm. an allied shinobi force. Mm -hmm. So, I get what you mean, but nah. I, I completely disagree with you on that point, my man. Anyway. Sorry. But I still think, like, those ratchet, like, fucking Pokemon, like would be like mm. more known around everything than like yeah even yeah. like one piece and naruto combined together like your bro a pokeball it's universal i agree with you 